Welcome back to Everything Money. It's Seth, Paul, and Mo. As always, welcome to the show. We talk about stocks today. We're talking about Biogen, most of Mo. I bought, Paul, we've been in love with Biogen for a long time. I don't know why we fell in love with this last fall. So the reason we like it is the the pipeline. What was that? Not anymore. Well, recently, as you know, if you're following this stock, I I owned it. My son owned Biogen, my (laughs) 11-year-old, and uh, they got approved for this Alzheimer's drug, Mo, and you had your hesitations. Most controversial approval in FDA history. the, The price recently skyrocketed it up everyone was having a great day Look at this chart, Uncle and mo, mo i said mo what do you think should i just should i just sell and love this huge run-up and uh i got I, caught in a in a i got caught in a um I, I wasn't able to sell my shares so i just sold yesterday mo oh really i'm still up <coughs> huge it's but dropped, <coughs> excuse me it's dropped 20 percent since that big day right yeah, look yes. at this, guys. Tim sold on that day. 414, and now it's at 324. And look what it did during that day. It th- So this long wick right here, that means the stock pulled back. So it ran up here, and then it pulled back same day and ended right around here. So there was uh, that thing was flying. It was. And it was so like I, 50%. I, took, I took your advice, at least tried to, sold some of my wife's shares of Biogen. But we're back revisiting this. See, what okay. the heck's going on? Mo, I'd love to get more of your insight on the medical, medical aspects of, of this drug and where it's going. And uh, we'll revisit Biogen, its numbers, and see uh, how the stock price is now that it's fallen so far, uh, Paul. And I introduce to you the seer of seers. Paul, by the way, I'm going to Groundhog Day, the town next. Punxsutawney? Here's the funny part. It's not filmed in Punxsutawney. Oh, I'm sure it's not filmed in Punxsutawney. Well, it's filmed in a place. I'm, go- I'm staying in the place he stayed. The dinner dance on Friday with a live band. When did this happen? I'm going. My buddy's going. I'm Are going. Are we in Switzerland that week? Uh, two weeks. Okay, got it. Yeah, so I'm going. I'll, I'll, I'll fill right. you in. So we're going to do an Everything Money Seth in the Groundhog Day filming. Go ahead, Paul. I, I, I digress. So the, the reason we liked Biogen originally was it was selling for really cheap. They were going to lose a drug or two, but their pipeline was incredible. And we felt, okay, if this is a long-term play and you believe in their pipeline. I don't remember the exact numbers. They had 25 drugs in the pipeline, like 16 were in phase three or something crazy like that. And the, the chances of approvals were basically, if you just use the overall percentages, they were going to add like 10 drugs to their pipeline, to their, to their, to their portfolio of drugs in the yeah. next three or four years. Yeah. Even the CEO, which remember, keep in mind, CEOs are there to promote. He said, we love our pipeline. Our pipeline's huge. The next few years are going to be awesome for us. Fully acknowledging that the present time is going to be tough. Now, since then, the stock has skyrocketed. I have sold some shares through my covered calls. But um, they also had this most controversial drug that got approved then got pulled back. It's kind of a, listen, every stock can be a good or buy depending on where it's at, right? In terms of price. Good or buy? A good, did I say good or buy? Yeah, you did. Yes. It can be a good or bad <laughs> buy based on where it's at, where the stock price is selling at. Jeez, OP. Good or All right. So right now it's about a $50 billion company. The PE of 16, which is a check, and a profit margin of 24% with a check. This seems like such a popular $50 billion company. It's, Everyone's it, talking. Yeah. It's, it's not like a $2 billion Palantir, but right. I mean, keep going. Right. Uh, no dividends paid. Really high return on invested capital, return on assets, which pharmaceutical companies yep. tend to have very high returns on invested capital. It's very easy to get really high returns once you've created a drug. Income statement. Let's go to revenue. And you'll see this revenue drop already. So 11.2 to 11.85. So it's still a check there, even though the revenue is down in the last year. Because they did lose some drugs, didn't they, Seth? Um, Mo? Yeah, um, they did. I don't know what they were, but they did lose it. Because I remember when we were looking at this, we were like, this is going to, uh, their patent's going to end. And look at their profit. X to profit, down to $3 billion. Yeah. So guys, remember, when we're looking at this company, we're looking at the future prospects. So for all you a-holes out there who oh, say, geez. Paul doesn't care about the future or growth, oh my I care. You're going to sit here and you're going to see declining revenue and declining profit for a few years. That's why, even though it might have a lot of checks, you have to question what's the next few years going to look like while they wait for other approvals and drugs to get on the market. Share is outstanding. We are filming this on July 20th, if you're wondering. So if you're watching this in the future, that's when we film this. And we're showing you the Everything Money software you can get as being a part of our Patreon. Join the Patreon link in the description below. As a patron, you get access to the software amongst a, 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 a myriad of other wonderful tools. But you get the, the data feed that we pay for. We get the stock analyzer tool. Real estate calculators coming in the future. So many things coming for this. And um, it's incredible. And you join our community of 4,000 people in the Discord. Paul... I wanted to I wanted to um, wave the everything money flag because we have so 
we're still somewhat of a small channel, you know, yep. 56, 57,000 subscribers. 58, we hit this morning. 58, congratulations, 58, <laughs> but so many patrons, Paul. Yeah, I mean, we have 4,100 4, patrons there, right now. There are channels who, that have- who, who buy the software. There are channels that have four times as many subscribers and still less patrons of because they're, frankly, we're just giving you a lot more than they are. So um, keep going, Paul. Show them, show them, show them what So guys, there. this is the Everything Money software. It was $8 a few months ago. It's on its way to 49. It's currently 25, 80 cents a day. Look at all the things you get. We actually have a mobile app, eight pillars, 30 years of financial data, stock analyzer tool, exclusive daily content. We're gonna be doing a video or two every day just for mobile app and patron members. Um, access to us, real estate calculator, stock screener, retirement calculator, Discord community with 4,000 investors you can talk to and growing. Guys, this is a no-brainer. Our competitors, $199 a month, $199 a month, $35 a month, and they don't give you anything compared to what we give you. Is it worth 80 cents a day to change your financial future. Yeah. We have patrons who say all the time, the software alone is just worth everything. Forget about it. I The bottom line is you're crazy if you don't sign up. Go sign up and you'll learn more. Let's get back to Biogen. This is shares outstanding. We want this so, number going down. Paul. And it is going down significantly. 215 to 160, 152 million. So they are buying shares back, okay? So again, long-term play. If they keep buying shares back and drugs get released, this could be a very, very valuable play for people in the future. Okay, so next one. Pillar number six is current assets over current liabilities, Paul. Cash on hand essentially of 6.7 billion, current liabilities of 3.17. Plenty of cash on hand to pay their bills, plenty of cash. And especially for a company like this, where it's important to see how they can get to the next few years while they get back to these drugs being released, it's important. How about free cash flow, pillar number seven? Free cash flow growth, ready? 2.17 to 3.15, so it's a check mark by fluke. Now I added this line to the free cash flow statement in the investing section. This yep. is not actually in there, but if you get the software, I do the math for you. The average is 4.3 billion. 4.33 times 20 is $86 billion. We pick 20 as a starting point, as a multiple of the average of the last five years. Check, in this situation, I would not consider this. And here's why. Wait a minute, you don't like 86, the mark? What's I love the fact that it's a check. Because the market cap's 50 and Check it's saying we should pay 86. Check but I don't, but this is a, this is actually a declining free cash flow. If you look at it, it went from 2.2, 4.7, 5.4, 6.3, 3.15. 3 it's fallen in half in the last year. They've lost some, they've lost a major drug. This will probably decrease again. You need to do more research on what drugs are being taken away from their mm -hmm. um, patents that are gonna go to generic and what's on the pipeline and when they're coming out. This is the entire play for Biogen. My personal opinion is I am not buying Biogen right now. I want it to be really cheap and everybody's just so negative about it. I've seen a 20% drop in the last yeah. month. How long has it been since they made that announcement? About a month. Okay. Maybe a little over a month. But this company starts to get under 240, which by the way, it's been, and lower than 200, I'm probably gonna be picking up shares as time goes on because I do believe in the long term of this company. Mo and I's fathers are both doctors and they're big on the Biogen um, pipeline. pipeline yeah. So we're believers of Biogen at a much lower price. Um, if you wanna start buying it now, more power to you, but just make sure you keep money to buy it as it goes further south. Yeah, if you wanna find out more information about Biogen, of course, you can go to our software as a patron, click on annual reports, and we pull right up the 10 k is right in front of you. You can open these up and give a read for the financials and all this stuff. It's right in the Everything Money software that we give you as a patron. Okay, Mo, are people trading Biogen right now? I would assume they are, and yeah, let's look at just, those trends. It's a lot of shorting. So you can see how gradually it's just kind of fallen through the sweet spot over the last month or so from that approval. Um, and it's just declining. And and there's always bad news coming out about, about this drug. And that's kind of what's driving Biogen right now. Uh, Cleveland Clinic and Mount Sinai in New York both said that they're not going to distribute the drug, the uh, Alzheimer's drug. So to me, when I look at this and I just see this very slow decline over time, I think that you'll eventually get back to this 280 or lower level, which it was at before it took off. So are, you selling, took, are you selling any puts on this well, at the moment? You know, Too volatile. To me, like... Our value, I think, was around 175. I think, are you gonna do the stock analyzer tool on this? Or? You know, the hard part about the stock analyzer tool is I don't know what to account for in terms of yeah. the future value because the future <laughs> revenue growth, what's gonna happen in the next two or three years? It's gonna be bad and yeah. then the rebound it, so. So let me tell you the puts, I, the puts that we had on this before, I think they started at around 225, 230 and we ran them down to like $150. So that's kind of the range that we were starting to pick them up. Um, but Actually, I'm gonna do stock analyzer tool. You know why? I'm gonna show people how so it could assumption. be a good yeah. value. So let's look okay. at this, guys. Go ahead and keep talking, Mo. Yeah, but 
Um, no, really, that's that's a good question about the puts because this is this is still a company that I want to own. Their pipeline is great. In my ideal world, this Alzheimer's drug, for an, from an investor standpoint, I wish it would have just failed. We would have moved on from this. They can go back because the drug is really not that effective, and it's and it's causing patients a lot of issues. That's why a lot of hospitals are not using it. I wish it would work, of course, for the patients, but. I wish that it would just come back to reality and we can go and do something based on their real pipeline that, that they have coming out. Let the drugs go off patent and then let the new ones come on patent and run them through. But what do you got over there with that thing? I'm, I'm anxious to know about this one. Okay, so guys, remember, because of the revenue falling, I have to make certain assumptions. I'm assuming 3 7 and 11% revenue growth over the next seven years. Okay, share change, negative 3 to negative 5, profit margin 24 to 30, Free cash flow, same thing. PE and price of free cash flow, 12 to 18. Returns of 15 to 10. Guys, look at this. That's what I'm saying. This has potential once they get back to revenue uh, increasing. Once they get a couple of drugs launched. And by the way, what was our price? We said 240 before. I was a buyer under 240. Yeah, I, that's what it was. So I look at it saying, I think this company, once you understand where their future comes and you believe they're going to be hitting these drugs in there and there's going to be good revenue for these drugs coming in, I think it's a very, very valuable stock. When they start getting drugs approved, I think that we are going to be owners of a lot of Biogen. It, this is a good company. They've been a good company for a very long time. They're leaders in a lot of industries, and I, I can't say much more about them. They're, they're a good company. That's our take on Biogen. Uh, my son was very upset, Paul, because we sold Biogen in the past and he did not catch this run up. So he was chastising me. But um, I, I've been trimming my uh, patrons. Uh, check out my portfolio. I'll upload soon because I've been trimming back, Paul. We talked about I was in some that I liked. And um, I'm really falling in love with Warren Buffett. You, know, you really have to know the company more, a, maybe a more finite number of well, stocks. Well, let's do it this way. Mo and I, when you used to buy stocks 20 years ago, it was just like, oh, I like this company. Let me buy it. That's how I used to buy stocks. Now, Mo and I find ourselves even hard, having a hard time pulling the trigger if we haven't read the 10K mm -hmm. or haven't at least skimmed the 10K to see some major things. So it's amazing as you learn more how you find yourself starting to do more. It's just like dating, right? You're not going to get married to every single person you go on a date with. It's about learning more. And even when you find somebody you like, you sit there and go, okay, wait a second. What am I doing here? Is this, does this person really have the attributes? You learn more. You, you peel away the, the layers more. Mm -hmm. It's all a different theory. Like Warren Buffett believes in make small number of bets and make them big because you know the company inside and out. Peter Lynch believed in own two or 300 companies, know them decently well and find a good story, but they're selling at a good value. I'm kind of in the middle. I want to own 20 or 30 companies that hit certain parameters that I like the story of from a 100 foot view. And that's the way I like to do it. It's all about how you feel comfortable investing. That's the way that works for me. And, and Seth, to people that missed that run up like Geo, this could have very well happened on approval. The drug wasn't approved and it dropped $100 a share. Oh, I see. So you have to look at it from both sides. That's, that's where you need to like really be able to control your emotion. And I understand he's 11 years old, but he'll, <laughs> he'll get it. <laughs> he'll get there. All right, that's our take. Um, that is our take on Biogen. We appreciate you guys following along. Uh, join the Patreon, follow the thumbs up on the way out, and we will see you on our next video. Appreciate it.